voice that is unmistakable. The New York Times describes Gregory Porter as a jazz singer of thrilling presence, a booming baritone with a gift for earthy refinement and soaring uplift. And now, the two-time Grammy award-winning superstar is celebrating, if you can believe this, his first ever Christmas album. It is called Christmas Wish. The album is a loving tribute to his favorite time of the year with a special appearance by Grammy-winning vocalist, our friend, Samara Joy. Yeah. In 2021, Gregory launched his own cooking show, bringing us into the kitchen with a YouTube series. It's called The Porter House with Gregory Porter. Did I mention, he's a professional chef behind the mic. Take a look. Music and food, two things in life I truly love, have always been connected. The kitchen was actually my home before I ever stepped on stage. Writing songs and creating dishes have always inspired me. I like to make authentic food for authentic people. Come inside to our family kitchen. This is real good. <laughs> as I share some of my favorite recipes and tell you the stories behind them. Welcome to the Porter House. Oh my gosh, please welcome Grammy Award winning jazz superstar and chef, Gregory Porter! Beautiful. Wow, green. Beautiful. It's so good to see you. Great to see you. Great Listen, to see you. Listen, a man bringing a beautiful voice, a Christmas album, and pie? Come on. <laughs> what more can anyone ask for? So this series is so phenomenal, and I love what you said. You tell the story yeah. behind this. You see, yeah. A lot of people want to cook, and they want, but it's the story, because this means something. You're making sweet potato pie. When yeah. my team told me that, I actually got emotional. My father passed away in 2008. Yeah. And the one thing I wish I'd gotten from him was yeah. his sweet potato pie recipe. Yeah, yeah. And you hold on to those memories. You hold on to those memories and you hold on to those smells. Yeah. And at Christmas time, when I'm ready to get that feeling going, yeah. I need to have the smell of a sweet potato pie. Yeah. Mixing with the smell of that turkey, mixing with the smell of that gravy. Mixing with the sound of Nat King Cole in the air. Mixing with the sound of Gregory Porter in the <laughs> air. <laughs> okay, so this is sweet potato pie. Well, we can keep talking while we're doing this. By the way, you can scan the QR code on the screen for the recipe. All right, so we got our sweet potatoes. Yeah. Pull them out of here. And then here. we have like uh, three pounds of sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah, here. I got three pounds of sweet potatoes. My we team already did those. this for me because I have unreasonably long nails, so. They put it over here for me. Mash them up. You're gonna mash these bad Okay, I love that you make. give away your recipes. You're not like holding on to them. Yeah, Did what? you get what I just said? <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't hear that line I said? I did, I was about to break into song. But... <laughs> <laughs> so you got that. So we mix up our sweet potato. Now, it... are you a sweet or a savory person? Because I'm a sweet person, I love sweets. Well, my thing is a, is a mix. I love the balance. You love the balance. Mix. Okay. Sweet, sweet and savory. All right. So we got our sweet potatoes. So, okay, here. I've made uh, a proper mess so of myself. So let's, you know, let's get our things in here. We, we have four, four eggs. eggs. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do, bake or cook? Because some people say you can't do both, but yeah. it seems like you've mastered both. I, I, I enjoy doing both. Um, I enjoy doing both. Is this I, I cream enjoy the or cre milk? Buttermilk. Okay. Buttermilk. Yeah. Oh, buttermilk. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Mmm. Yes. Got that in there. Vanilla extract. Okay. Nice. And again, the recipe, the full recipe, our whole artist go, mm, everything you do, they're like salt, mm, <laughs> sugar, mm. Lemon extract. Oh, oh, lemon. Yeah. Lemon extract. I've yeah. never used that. Yeah, that's what gives it that mm, a little oh, thing. Oh, a little yeah. tart, tart, tart. Okay, I like that. A uh, cup of brown sugar. Now, I was asking you, bake or cook? Or uh, both? I love the creativity of, of cooking. I say that it's, it's relaxing. We're going to put a... Uh, okay, what's this? We're going to put a little salt in here. A little salt. Our salt and our self-rising flour. Oh, we self, that you in use self-rising flour? Uh-huh, just a little bit. Oh, now, now, you almost had me go all crazy right. over here. <laughs> all right, just about this? Now, 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 now listen, this is, a, this is Christmas time. This okay. is celebration. This is joy. Yes, sir. Don't worry about how much sugar is in there. Oh, my God! Don't worry about it. Listen, I knew I loved you, but now I really love you when we come back.
Gregory Porter finishes his sweet potato pie recipe, and we talk about his new Christmas album. Don't go anywhere. Up, hot from sugar. Show me we are back with Grammy award-winning superstar, professional chef Gregory Porter. You might be the only person I've described as a Grammy award-winning jazz superstar and professional chef, not just a cook, a trained chef here. Before we went to break, we were making Gregory Porter's sweet potato pie. We've got our filling, but then I, I cut you off before the piece de resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, uh, this is, uh... Butter. This is melted butter. <laughs> you know, listen, I said it was Christmas time. Yes. And so you can have a little butter and a little sugar. I love so here we it. go in. Let's go in with the with our a couple of sticks of butter. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get that all incorporated. So you mix this up. Yeah, yeah. Just get it all incorporated. Get in there. I cannot believe this is your first Christmas album, by the way. Yeah, I mean I would have started with a Christmas album if I was allowed to, because I love Christmas and Christmas music mm -hmm. uh, so much. It's some of the best, some of the best music. Generally. In most Christmas songs, there's something about peace. Yeah. There's something about good tidings, being yeah. love and being kind to one another. That's the kind of music I like to sing, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so, yeah, Christmas music, right. And this yeah. is a love letter to your mom, Ruth. Yes. A Christmas love wish. Yes, yeah, she was deep on, on uh, for Christmas. We never just thought about ourselves. We never thought about just, you know, there was eight of us, five boys and three girls. She was like, I got eight kids, but I want to feed the neighborhood, too. And so we had a soup kitchen, and Christmas Day, she cooked turkey greens, cornbread, candied yams, sweet potatoes, oh you know. Oh, gosh. The pies, the mashed potatoes, the family, all eight of us and her, she, we prayed over the food, mm. and then she instructed us to load it into the van, and then we went and gave all the food away, most of it. There was a leftovers left over, and we took that home, and the kids ate that. Mm. And... It's such a precious memory for me now that on Christmas Day, we went out and we fed people who were hungry. And, um, and just, just teaching, by, teaching by example. No, there was no Facebook. Yeah. There was no Instagram. Nobody was watching, no TV cameras. She did that from the conviction that was in her heart. And so I still do that. I put messages that she gave to us into my music. So if there's anything that you like about me, mm. if, take me to the alley. Okay, that's her. Yeah. Take me to the alley is her. The very, listen, listen, I have a show at Carnegie Hall next year. That's fantastic and wonderful. But, <laughs> well, listen, listen. The first people to confirm me and to say, baby, sing were the homeless people that I sang to mm on a street called The Road in Bakersfield, California, the alley. The alley. The alley. The hungry people, the lonely people, the afflicted ones. And I, so I sang to them first, and uh, they gave me the confidence to sing at Carnegie Hall. Oh, my Hall. God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that, that you have said that gaining empathy, I'm gonna cry, goodness. Um, you said gaining em empathy is the biggest gift in life. Yeah. I think, um, I think for my music career, the ability to understand other people's uh, pain, joys, uh, just life conditions, and to put something in your music that says that you can rise above these difficulties, whatever it be, uh, poverty, racism, uh, all the conditions that many of us have gone through, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I want to, I want, you know, sometimes I want to break into song. Yeah. You know, this, 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 <laughs> in the face. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Help me just to pass this test of time. I wish that I was blind. Strange thing to wish for, but I just can't unsee all this misery.
Help me clear this fear that's in my mind. I wish that it was lost. But I can't help but think this world is on the brink in my mind. But everything's not lost. Cause Christmas and New Year's is coming on strong. Everything is not lost. Cause Christmas and New Year's is coming on strong. Everything is not lost. Cause Christmas and New Year's is coming on strong. Good tidings of comfort and joy. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. The message, the heart, just like the food. I mean, I, we, we do have to, do you do this at home? You're like cooking, just breaking the song. I do, I have to sing when I, I cook. I feel like I we're at to. home with you, right? Yeah. This is what this, I feel like we're at home with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I gotta get this back, so you gotta get my composure. <laughs> so we've got our pie filling. We have our pies, we pre-bake, oh. we pre-bake. Uh, okay, we pre-bake the, the... Yeah, yeah, we pre-bake the... The uh, crust. The crust. And let's fill this bag. Okay, come that. on. Now, you, 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 listen here, you, you gotta, you gotta, this is a recipe is for, for two, or maybe if you're using a thin, two or three pies. Oh. Because uh, if you just make one, it's gonna be a fight. So, okay. <laughs> <you know. laughs> so, so fill the pie. You know, who ate the last piece of pie? That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened. So I, I and, the, and the magic of TV, because that beautiful music and that beautiful voice was just mesmerizing. Oh, Look, the Christmas pie just popped out of nowhere right. for me to taste. Come on, let's get down. <laughs> Listen, uh, the full recipe from Gregory Porter is on our website. You also have the QR code right there. I see you standing over there all proud, ready for me to take this bite. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, don't be shy. Uh, <laughs> did you hear, Gregory? We got to fight over the last slice. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, the self-rising flour gives it that fluff. Yeah. The sweet with the nutmeg. Yeah, yeah. The butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. creamy. Yeah. It's per. This. And you can hear the music when you taste it. it. This is yeah, it. Can... This is it. Yeah. <laughs> You are going home with a CD of Gregory's wow. album. Listen. You get a CD. You get a CD. You get a CD. You get a 